Someone has a higher bid than me. You should, I was gonna say, you should have <laughs> taken it yourself. <laughs> What, uh, it's kind of a cool deal, obviously, three, three years in a row now for, for you guys doing this. Uh, how special is that for you guys to be a part of as well? Uh, it's definitely a lot of fun, especially when you uh, walk into CenturyLink and you see the whole crowd wearing pink and whatnot. And, you know, I think our guys got a big kick out of it, and it's obviously for a good cause. So uh, any time that we get to be a part of something like this, it's, it's really fun. Bradley, obviously, coming in, uh, much improved from last year. What have you guys found out about them, maybe, uh, that you expect them coming in this time? Uh, they're a tough team. You know, uh, they can put up anybody in our conference. They got uh, two great guards in uh, Sims Edwards and Walt Lemon. So, you know, those guys are going to be able to get theirs, and they've done it all year. So our job as guards is to defend them to the best of our ability, obviously. And then uh, just try and uh, keep up the pace, run, try and get open looks in transition. And hopefully if we can do that, we can get some easy baskets going, especially early. You get the Walt Lemon. I uh, posted something on Twitter the other day about uh, shooting chat on a short memory. Uh, <laughs> something that, that you preach, uh, you know, coming out with two solid games after a couple of games. Yeah, that was a Kyle's chorus tweet, actually. I just retweeted him. Uh, you know, obviously I, I've had some up and down games. Uh, some games where I make four threes, some games where I, I can't touch the rim. So, uh, you know, you kind of have a kind of have to have a short memory with that. Uh, you know, I talk to Ethan all the time about you know the next shot and the next shot and you know forgetting what you just did, whether or not it went in, and focus on the next one. So, uh, you know, myself, my role in this team is to knock down open threes, and you know, if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw it up there. He's always been a big belief next shot. Do you always kind of operate. Definitely something I've learned from him. Uh, I wasn't, you know, a great shooter coming out of high school. I was something that I kind of, you know, put some time in in the summertime and not to get better at each and every year. Uh, and I'm at, a, I'm in a position now where, you know, a lot of teams don't want to give me open looks and they're trying to run me off the line. So I really got to concentrate when I do get, you know, open shots. So, uh, you know, whether or not you make or make or miss your first shot, you don't know the next one coming out. So that's kind of been my mentality, especially this year. I'm happy that you know, my shooting as the years gone on. Coach has been talking a lot about your improved defense specifically. Uh, are you doing the offseason to be able to you know, uh, take out the other team's best player? Uh, a lot of it was just mental stuff, you know, uh, putting yourself in the right situation, understanding who you're guarding, um, understanding their tendencies, what they like to do, where they like to catch the ball. And as a defender, I just try to, you know, take them away from that as much as I possibly can. Uh, obviously, not every game is perfect. Sometimes the guys get hot and whatnot, and they start making, you know, shots that they don't normally make. But uh, so far this year, I've just, you know, uh, put myself in a position where I understand uh, the person that I'm guarding, and I'm just trying to, you know, take them away from what they like to do the best that I can. What do you like better, uh, taking a three or taking a charge? Uh, I think taking a charge. Um, we have so many three-point shooters on our team, but not everybody's going to, you know, step up and take one. So uh, whenever I do that, I feel like, you know, the crowd feeds into it. Our team gets an extra boost of energy, and you also call the foul probably on one of the best players on the other team. So uh, taking a charge is definitely better than, you know, making a three. A couple. Uh, I usually regret most of the charges that I take, actually, because they're against bigger and smaller guys than myself. So, uh, I don't know, but those things, you know, kind of come to the territory. If you're in a position, you got to take one, you got to do whatever uh, you got to do for the team. So, you know, obviously, I'm willing to do that. I think I've, I think I've led the team in charge taking the last couple of years. So, I'm hopeful, hopefully, I'll continue that for this year. What's that? From what you see? What do you think? Uh, well, they like to, you know, get into you and crowd you. Uh, I know Sims Edwards is stronger than most guys. He's a big physical guy, so he likes to get into you and kind of, you know, shove you a little bit, try to get you off balance. Next thing you know, he's ripping the ball away from you because he's just physically strong enough to do that. And Lemon uh, really likes to jump past the lanes. Uh, that, you know, you can kind of see him, it kind of looks like he's not in position next to you. know, you throw a, you know, a soft pass and he's in there and he's digging into the hole for, for two. So, uh, you know, you really got to be careful with guys like that. Um, and, you know, steals, it really leads them to their transition game and that's how they get a lot of easy baskets. And next thing you know, they get on a roll and they're knocking out three. They become a tough team to beat. So we really got to value the pass and the catch tomorrow much more than, you know, any other game that we have so far this year. And, you know, I think our guys are looking uh, forward to a challenge to try to down and uh, be efficient on offense, so looking forward to it. What, uh, what do you think about this get-up you got going here? 
uh, this uh, new look right here. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm liking the pink shoes. The laces are maybe a little bit too neon for my liking, but <laughs> no complaints whatsoever. I think Nike always does a good job of, you know, uh, providing us with gear to go with whatever theme that we have. So, you know, I'm not going to complain, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right.